This week, we celebrated Mother's Day. And each day this week, you're going to hear a story about a strong woman from the Bible told by the women of our church here at Pelham Road. So we hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Meg Hunter, and today I'm reading from Love Letters from God, Bible Stories for a Girl's Heart. This is written by Glennis Nellist and illustrated by Rachel Klaus. I'm going to read The Brave Girl from Joshua 2. This is the story of Rahab. Rahab knew trouble was coming. She peered out from her window and scanned the horizon to see if she could see the Israelite army. Everyone knew God's people would soon march into Jericho, and no one could stop them. The God of the Israelites was strong and powerful and mighty. Everyone heard the rumors of how he made a path through the Red Sea so his people could escape from Egypt. Rahab wanted to know a God like that. If he could take care of his people in such a wonderful way, maybe he would take care of her too. Rahab was ready for a new start. She had made some bad choices. Was it too late for her to change, or could this God save her? Rahab caught a glimpse of two men running over the hills toward her house, Israelite spies. They had been sent to see what Jericho was like. Suddenly, Rahab knew what she had to do. She would welcome those spies and hide them in her home, even if it meant risking her life. Keep quiet. Don't say a word, Rahab whispered as she hid the two spies on her roof. If the king finds you here, we will all be killed. When his men have gone, run to the hills. But when you return to Jericho with your army, please remember how I helped you. Please save me and my family. I want to follow your God, who is the Lord of heaven and earth. We will, the men replied as they scrambled down the scarlet rope that Rahab hung from her window. Leave this red cord in place. It will be a sign to us that everyone in this house should be saved. A few days later, the Israelite army marched into Jericho, and the walls of the city came crashing down. But brave Rahab and all the people who lived in that little house were saved. Rahab ran from Jericho, left her old life behind, and ran toward God. Her new life was waiting. I chose this story in honor of my mother, Margaret Hunter, who always encouraged me to follow God boldly, even if it didn't make sense to other people. Thank you, Mama. Thank you.